Hey what's up guys, it's me EM Robotics and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a MyBlock in the EV3 LEGO Mindstorm software. Alrighty guys, so to make a MyBlock in the um, software it's really easy. So. It's only a couple of steps to it, which is why this, is gonna, this video is going to be short and sharp. So, let's get into it. Alrighty, so to make a MyBlock, you need to select a part of a code. Now, a MyBlock is a way of simplifying, um, making a code simple and more effective in big, complex codes, such as code that you might use in your FOL competitions. So, to start off, we're going to select, I want to I wanna make this, this loop into a my block to make it compress. So we're gonna have two blocks in this main code. I'm gonna select that, or you can just press that there. I'm gonna go up into tools. I'm gonna go into my block builder, and we go, and it will bring up this screen here. Now, you have to, it, there's a couple of things we have to do. So first of all, we'll name this my block. So I'm gonna name this um, A B V. Line follow. Okay, so that's my name, and I'm gonna write a description. So I'm gonna write this code is a line follow code using two color sensors and advanced blocks. All right. So that's just my simple description that I've got in here. So my sec so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna select an icon. So it could be anything you want, but just for what this code is, I'm gonna select the color sensor icon. Now, if you are doing a more complex code, you're gonna have to need to add parameters to make a code a little bit more effective in its way that you present, in the way that it presents. So if you go up here, go add parameter so you could have multiple you can go like it has you could do like as many parameters as you can up to 10 i think it is yeah so it's 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 yeah so you can do up to 10 parameters so for this we won't need 10 parameters we'll only need two um but obviously the option is there if you do so what i'm going to do now is we need to go as soon as you press, as soon as you press this plus button, you see down in these tabs it has parameter setup and parameter icons. Now, what are we going to go? We're going to have parameter setup. Now, we want to do speed for ours, for an example. So, I'm going to go into the parameter name and call it speed. And this is an input, so it will be at the start of the code, in front of it. So, we won't need to play with these, but this is. Um, something that you can do if you're in, if it's in a loop or it's out of loop in switches block or out of a switch block but we don't we don't have a switch block so we're not going to deal with that right now we're going to go to parameter icons and we're going to select our icon for our speed now there's a ton of icons that you can possibly choose from but for speed we're just going to go that all right so now we've got our speed icon we're going to select another parameter. So we're going to go back to parameter setup. We're going to name it KP. So we're going to go KP and that's also input. And then again we won't change this. We go to parameter icons and we're just going to select one. Now obviously then again you can select anything you want. There's a couple there's really cool icons that you can that you can use in there. So we're gonna go press once you're done this you can press finish okay and what you might and what you what will happen is you'll have your your parameters your parameter here you have your loop block here but you won't have the block that was in front of it because that is in the original program so right here we have the original program so this abd line follow is what i called the my block so this my block here is that. So that is that there. So 
So of here, you could obviously just if you see how easy that made this bit, this um, code. So it's really a good way of simplifying it. So you could change the speed to say 10 and your KP to um, 3. So you could do that. You can go to here and you could link. So if you grabbed off, you grabbed out a math block and a move tank block. You could link your you could link your K, your KP into there, and you could do all types of cool stuff with it. Now, um, this code here is just an example code. It does not work. So um, if you can, you can go back to the start of the video and um, just copy it down if you want to use it and then modify it. It does have these new blocks that I imported lately, so you could. I have, I'm going to be making, making another video on those blocks, so uh, we won't go into detail about them about now, but we're just going to do this my blocks. So that's basically it guys, so we have our amazing my block here, it, has, it will pop down in your my blocks folder that you can use, really simple. It's probably one of the things I recommend if you, for FLL, you have really massive complex codes. My block is the solution. So remember, remember these. So I will, I will just do them again. So you select the code. So you select the code. Tools. My block builder. Well, I can't do it because I already made that in my block. You go. So if I just do that. Tools. My block builder. My block name. Description. Any icon you want. Parameters if you want, you can go parameter setup, parameter name, parameter icons, and then you can press finish, and then you're done. So guys, if you if you like this video, please like this video. I would really appreciate it. Comment down below if comment down below for any video ideas. I would love to see them. It would really I would really like to hear from you guys. And also please consider subscribing if you're new to this channel. I post videos every now and then on how you on stamp based concepts including AB3 LEGO Mindstorms, Arduino, 3D printing, etc. etc. So guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!